What's up, party people? Welcome to an extremely mediocre playthrough of the newly released Yoshi's Crafted World. <coughs> Choose your playstyle. Mellow mode for babies, or classic mode for big boys. Classic mode, or rather, mellow mode, this mode makes the game a little breezier and relaxed. I know it gives you wings that let you float through the game. We don't want that. We want the mode that is recommended for more experienced players. You can change your playstyle whenever you like. And now we have our title screen. Okay, so as a means of introduction, my name is Tony. Most of the people watching this video probably already know that because I'm just making this for my friends. I ain't trying to get famous. But I am playing Yoshi's Crafted World because I really enjoyed the previous title in this series, Yoshi's Woolly World. I think that this game has the opportunity to get much more creative with its level design since it's not just using wool, it's using arts and crafts. And honestly, I'm just excited for the day when I can see people recreate um, the visuals of these levels in real life with real crafts. Like, I'm so excited for those Reddit and Pinterest posts. But we are going to get started. I am recording this on the day it came out. Just picked up this game. We're just going to dive right in. This is the lovely island of the Yoshis. At the topmost peak of the island sits a glistening, gem-set wonder known as the Sundream Stone. Legends say the Sundream Stone possesses the power to make anyone's wildest dreams come true. One fine day. Oh god. Okay, okay. So the basic antagonists that are in every Yoshi game. Baby Bowser and Kamek caught wind of the Sundream Stone and made their way to the island. <laughs> we'll be taking that. That sundream stone looks like a delicious dessert. Like, it doesn't really look like a stone or an artifact. Like, clearly it's supposed to be ceramic. I mean, if my kid made that in, like, second grade, I would be super proud of them. I kind of actually want one of my own as, like, a paperweight. That would be really cool. Oh, it's gonna blow up. <laughs> oh, now it just looks like a birthday cake. Yep, that's a birthday cake. Gotta find the five stones, and the first one looks like it's in, uh... Was that a statue of a chicken? Alright. I'm down with that. When the Yoshis came to, they found themselves in an unfamiliar forest. Aw, the poor Yoshis seem to be lost. Oh my, the dream gems, they're all gone. The sun dream stone isn't looking too hot now. What a tragedy. Someone better find those gems before Kamek and Baby Bowser get to them. Except Kamek has a broomstick, so... This might already be a lost cause. Oh my god, imagine that. We couldn't have just walked out of the forest without that, uh, runway, huh? Wonder where this path leads. Maybe it'll pave the way to the gems. Man, these Yoshis are about as indecisive as I am. Looks like the Yoshis are sorting out who should go on this mission. How many Yoshis should go? Uh, one, because I'm a lonely bastard. Which Yo- Ooh, I get to choose the color? Oh, wow. Okay. You know, I said I was indecisive. You're all about to find out just how indecisive I actually am. This might be like Woolly World, where, like, the color you choose actually kind of matters. But since there's so fucking many of them, I think I'm just gonna... I don't think it'll really matter, so I'm gonna go with this one. All set? Yep. Love that color. It's settled then. 
The rest of the Yoshis will stay and protect the Sundream Stone. It'll be safe and sound. The journey to find the gems begins. I feel like we should send... Like, I know this is a video game, but... That thing looks like it's seen better days! I, I know it's a video game, but, like, I feel like the Sun Dream Stone, as it stands now, is worthless. So we should probably send more than one Yoshi to get back, like, the gems. But yes, it's a, it's a single-player game. I understand that. Without its gems, it seems the stone has lost all of its power. Useless! See, Kamek's smart. Then we'd better get moving and find the gems before the Yoshis do. Cool. Okay, so we don't get to play in the forest. Looks like this is our first level. Sunshine Station Rail Yard Run. Eight flowers. Let's see what kind of options we have in our menu, just so we can kind of see what we're getting into with this game here. Because I am playing this blind. I did not even play the demo that was available in the eShop. We have costumes. We do have a scrapbook, which has... What exactly? Oh, so the various things we've collected, like music, stuff like that. Okay. Which, of course, we have none of right now. You can change your color. Okay, that's cool. Is this going to take me back to the forest? Fuck. Let's just go back, because I want this Yoshi for sure. That is cool that you can change it any time. I like that. Number of players, play style. I don't have any amiibo. I think they're a uh, cash grab piece of garbage. Controller settings. Okay. So just like most Yoshi games, you can switch the uh, type of controller. Ooh, there's three different types. I'm not really a fan of that type. This is probably what I'm going to use. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Type A. Uh, patient. Okay, yeah, so this is usually uh, these are usually options that are in Yoshi games as well. You can either press X once and then press again to throw, or you hold X down. Hasty is usually more difficult, but honestly, I enjoy how it feels. Like, when you're holding down X, you actually feel as though you are holding the egg itself, um, as opposed to pressing twice. And I kind of, I like that extra level of immersion. Like, it's, you know, ticky-tack little things, but I enjoy it. So I'm going to do hasty. Rumble, let's make sure it's on. We don't need to test that shit. Okay. Alright, let's get into this. So we've got Rail Yard Run... Looks like we have five flowers in the level, as well as three conditional flowers. Getting 100 coins, finishing with full health, and getting the red coins. Alright, let's get started. Man, this game is adorable. Look at those little cutouts. Somebody doesn't know how to cut out a star, and it's really cute. Alright. First rule in platforming, check behind you. Nothing. We got a little train... Oh my god, this looks really good. Like the graphics. You can tell it's Unreal Engine 4. Alright, can you eat these guys in this game or no? Nope. So we're gonna try our egg. You know what I'm immediately realizing is I'm trying to jump with B instead of A. So that will probably end up being what I do. That feels so much better. Okay, I know that in this game you can shoot things in the background. So let's see. I can kill this cow. Cool. Like, I know that there's going to be, in later levels, obviously, stuff that's hidden back there. So we'll just have to pay attention to that. Um, okay, we have some red coins. Whoa! Probably could have used the egg there. Um, we have red coins, so that's a good start. We'll try not to get hurt. Flutter jump, of course, everybody who plays this game knows. We press and hold B, and a lot of coins there. Flutter jump up here. One of our flowers. Awesome. Whoops, that's not the right button. Oh, you can't... Oh my god, what am I doing? You can't kill those guys, or you can't eat them. Some more coins in there. Okay, so now we also have the uh, 
sort of 2.5D uh, sections of this level in which you go back a little bit. But first of all, there's a dude right here. I want to see if I can... Yeah. Can I, uh... Does that guy have coins? Probably not. Let's just keep going. Cool. Nice little bridge there, making an egg. Yep. Ooh, I know how to make an egg. Oh, yeah. Now we'll actually have some eggs. I always feel uncomfortable when I don't have enough eggs. Like, maybe that's a holdover from, like, all the secret stuff in the original Yoshi game. Like, for the SNES. But, if I don't have, like, max eggs, I am a dissatisfied... A dissatisfied camper. Jeez, how many eggs can you hold in this game? Holy balls, look at all these. Maybe it's infinite, so I'm just gonna say that's good for now. Nope, you can't go down these. Okay. I know that. Tossing an egg. I should probably be reading out these instructions because I like reading and because uh, we're all new to this game, but honestly, I can't really be bothered. So we can kill the cows, but it seems like not much else in this level. Fuck. In this level in particular. How many eggs can I... We're just going to do an experiment. We're just going to see how many I can carry. I think, I think that time one went away from me, so we are going to... Got some stairs going... That guy probably gives you red coins, so I probably should have done him first. That's okay, though. Okay, so a lot of elements from uh, the original Yoshi game in here. We got some health there, which we're going to need to get to max health if we want to 100% this level. I'm not really too concerned with that right now. Like, I want to get that eventually, but I don't really care right now. Toss an egg anywhere. In the background. Yep, I knew that. So I have, like, seen footage of this game, but I have not, uh, played it. So we're gonna do another one here. We're gonna do the cow, because we love murdering the cows. We're gonna do the big old coins there. Let's see if killing this guy gets us anything. Yeah, so that other guy might have gotten us some red coins. That's okay, though. I feel like the red coins are definitely gonna be... Get the coin. I'm a pacifist. I don't want to kill shy guys if I don't have to. Yikes! I thought a train was going to come and murder me. Yeah, I love killing those cows. Oh my gosh, that's so cute that the train, like, rumbled the building. Ah, uh, I love this so far. Okay. <laughs> that definitely looked like it would do something. Oh, it's just a checkpoint. <laughs> Alright, I just had to walk one step forward and it would immediately, uh, allow me to continue. If you think you're going to find any gems, think again. In fact, you'll never even leave this place. Uh-huh, right. This is the first level, Kamek. I'm a platforming genius. Oh my god, is that, is that a soda can train? That's amazing. So Kamek is, uh, disassembling the train here. I guess I'm going to have to leave with the train. Without a working train, you're dead in your tracks. Good luck finding the missing parts. Oh, don't worry. I'll find him. Extreme confidence. That's the vibe that Yoshi typically uh, gives off. All right, well, you're not the uh, best at hide-and-seek, Kamek. I will say that. Let's kill you, because you probably have some good stuff. Whoops. Yeah, not that I need these because I'm already at full health. Uh, let's see... Are these all red coins? Yeah, so I need another egg. Seems like we can carry six, which is the same as it was in the other game. I don't know why I thought it was so much more. Okay. Lots of stuff to uh, play around with in the foreground and the background. I hope that I get a lot, lot better at shooting eggs quickly as the game goes on. Alright, so another train bit back here. This is where the little cola can is. Can I walk up there? Yeah. That's like a really narrow path. It was kind of tough to walk up there, though. It's weird. Okay. So I do have 12 out of the 20 so far, 
I feel like this collecting the trains bit is the end of this level, so we shall see how, uh, how effectively I've done at getting everything in just a little bit. You know what? We're gonna hold off on that, because the last time I jumped the gun and grabbed one before I should have, and I don't want to make the same mistake again. Like with that piranha plant. Oh, you know what I just noticed? No, no, never mind. I thought that the uh, red coins specifically were the ones with the Yoshi egg on the back, but no, because a lot of them have that. Okay, so we're looking for one more piece. Cat, Get myrtled. So I like this how you can, like, go inside these houses. Oh my gosh, everything is so cute. Like, you could legit make this level in real life out of real crafts, which is really interesting to me. Shit, did I... Oh, okay, that was the one I missed. So I'm looking for one more flower as well. That's what I like about um, these games, is that the platforming is really simple, but finding everything is a little bit tough. That's exactly the kind of difficulty I enjoy. Wow. Alright, so I'm missing one. I hope it's somewhere uh, that I have yet to get here. Nope. Oh, I hope it's this guy. Please let it be this guy. Come on. Yes! Alright. Now I believe the last piece would have to be up here, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I'm still missing one flower. I do have full health though, so I just need to not get hit now. Now the train may very well be the end of the level, so I'm just gonna, gonna do another little... Uh, Loop around here, make sure I didn't miss anything. Whoa, okay. Okay, little health boost if you need it, but... I'm, I'm all good for now. Looks like I did get, get everything in this area, so I still am just down a... Uh... <gasps> I'm down a flower, which is fine. It'll probably be in the next area, I hope. What is this telling me to do? Throw them? Oh, okay, whoops. Okay, so you can throw things that aren't eggs, that's cool. I can see that being a cool mechanic later. Repaired the train. I thought it was gonna leave without me. I legit thought it was just gonna be like, see ya. Okay, is this a little uh, jumpy section? In case I need to throw anything. Where are you going? That was a pretty dope shot. I only have a couple eggs. I want to use them when I think there's going to be a flower here. Oop, there we go. Cool. Let's do my little Yoshi dance. Excellent. We should be nearing the end of this level, and that'll probably be the end of this first video. Yep, here we go. Alright, so we are going to cut it off here. Um, we're just going to show the little end of level animation, and then we're going to call it quits until next time. Let's see what happens. Oh, did I get 100 coins? I don't know if I did. I must have. Yes! Okay. Wow, yeah, I got way above that. Finished with full health, and got all 20 red coins. Alright, we're off to a good start. Okay, well, I will see you in the next episode, folks. Thank you so much for uh, hopping on and watching, and we will have more coming for you.